poetry, she said. Yes, she said. To make out of nothing, to make out of nothing. Of nothing to make, of nothing to make. I wrote a poem and it seemed okay, so I showed it to a couple of friends who said, it's great, send it off, for publication on the printed page. I sent my poem to a journal or three. I didn't get a response and my poem never came back to me, but three months later a curt rejection letter arrived in the mail. I read the poem at a poetry reading. There was a large audience and people paid to get through the door. But I didn't get a cent, just a couple of nods, some applause and one bravo. Someone said, can I have a read? So I handed over the neatly typed A4 page. Hey, he said, you don't have one of those thingamies, the C in the circle at the bottom of your work. Make sure you do that. Because someone might steal it. Thanks, said I, and walked away. I got a reply from an online journal saying they'd be delighted to publish my poem in their forthcoming issue. Please send us a photo and a bio. And by the way, we can't pay you. Sorry, we don't have the funding. Thanks, said I, and walked away. Then I had a great idea. I collected all the unpublished poems, some had even won awards, and put together a poetry collection. I even found a publisher who agreed to a short print run. But by the way, we don't do distribution. You've got to do that yourself. Okay. I even get a royalty. At 12.5% of the recommended retail price, that's less than $2.50 per copy. Who gets the other 87.5%? Oh, there are costs and overheads. The short print run sells about 50 copies. I make just over $100 and spend it on copies I give away. I have a bright idea of mixing poetry with music. Poetry with music, it will sell. I can't find a composer I can afford. Some musician friends back me at a free gig. The poem with music gets applause. But I take it home later and stuff it in the bottom drawer. Until that is, Creative Commons, the license of choice and sites online where artists are free to share and there are no expensive composers to stop you in your tracks. You show me yours and I'll show you mine and if it fits together, we've created something new. You help me and I'll help you. And the audience is global, not just down at the local. There's respect for vision and recognition of skill. And the money doesn't matter, because it never did. We can share our creations by Facebook, Twitter and blog. We can render them to video and display them on YouTube. There are links everywhere when you're free to share. And the poems and scores arise from the bottom drawers and breathe the music and mix with the mixtures. Creativity lives when you're free to share. Now there are invitations to workshops and talk of a CD with the right license, Creative Commons, license of choice. Creativity lives when you're free to share. <laughs>